As we enter 2024, it's hard to believe we're still trying to figure out who will finally defeat Roman Reigns. Nevertheless, here we are after the Tribal Chief has well surpassed a thousand days as the WWE Undisputed Champion and toppled a handful of believable threats to his reign. So when is the right time for someone to step up and wrestle the title away from Reigns? Here are five stars who could dethrone one of the most dominant champions of our generation, Cody Rhodes. The Cody Rhodes push has admittedly lost some luster after a disappointing defeat at WrestleMania 39, but he still seems like the guy to beat the head of the table. It's unclear how the American Nightmare will finish the story or how WWE can possibly create a better moment than a Cinderella win at SoFi Stadium. Nevertheless, he's still a safe bet and the best option to dethrone Reigns. Yes, it's difficult to remain optimistic about his chance after such a deflating outcome and a humiliating beatdown on the Raw after Mania. However, Cody Rhodes has continued to keep himself at the top of the main event scene in WWE. From his epic rivalry with Brock Lesnar to main eventing a match like that his own dad created, Steel Rhodes would be a perfect fit as the next face of the company. Many rumours speculate a rematch between the pair at WrestleMania 40. Will this finally be the time for Cody to finish the story? LA Knight LA Knight has been an absolute breakout star of 2023 and the clear fan favourite is still one of the best things on WWE TV week in and week out. Knight faced Reigns earlier this year at the Crown Jewel event and put up an impressive show into the Tribal Chief, but as all challengers before him, he failed to get the job done. If WWE let him run with it, LA Knight could be a future world champion and a contender for Roman Reigns' belt. With events such as the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania approaching, could we see a big push for LA Knight going into 2024? And will he finally be able to end the reign of the head of the table? Jey Uso From a storytelling perspective, Jey Uso makes the most sense as the man to finally unseat the head of the table. After all, it all started with the Simone star in 2020, who was Reigns' first challenger and his right-hand man since the end of their program at Hell in a Cell. Uso is also in the best shape of his career and has experienced the most character development since moving over to the red brand, away from the rest of the bloodline. One could argue that no one else has benefited more from working with the Tribal Chief during his reign of terror. It may be hard to buy into him as a long-term champion because viewers have only seen him as a tag team wrestler, nevertheless defeating his cousin and having a respectful run is a riveting story. Gunther Judging by his triumphant run with the Intercontinental Championship, WWE clearly sees Gunther as a future main eventer. 2023 has been an insane year for the leader of Imperium and has now surpassed the Honky Tonk Man as the longest reigning IC champion of all time. The Ring General was also a standout in this year's Men's War Rumble match, setting a new record for the longest time spent in the iconic Battle Royal. The iteration's Iron Man was the first entrant and the final superstar Cody Rhodes eliminated to win. The Austrian star successfully defended this title on multiple occasions during his title run, defeating the likes of Drew McIntyre, Sheamus and Chad Gable. Gunther is ready for a more prominent role and Reigns could use some more fresh opponents. Even more, Imperium evens the odds against the Bloodline, given the 35-year-old an advantage others don't have. Brock Lesnar Yes, Lesnar has had his shots at Reigns, and if WWE wanted him to run with the unified titles, it should have happened already, surely. That said, Lesnar will remain a main event attraction for as long as he wants to keep working for WWE, never far from the championship picture. His credibility speaks for itself along with his long list of accomplishments in pro wrestling and MMA. If you just showed a picture of Lesnar as someone who didn't follow sports entertainment, they'd say that that's the guy who should be champion. Let me know down below in the comment section who you think will defeat Roman Reigns if anybody, and if you have enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.